Hello, hello. So I got my Camlink 4K tray and I've been testing it out a little bit with Linux while I connect it to my Windows computer. And then I try to capture the Linux laptop or laptops. And right now you see I'm recording with this and if I actually ac activate that's the Linux machine. So I can actually move it around. If I do a transform and fit screen. So this is now the uh, Linux machine. And when I connect the HDMI cable to this computer uh, and start it up, the Cam link shows up shows up as a secondary monitor. And what I can do with this specific computer is that when they when it's powered off and I have the uh, cable connected, it, it's actually a display port output on the laptop. So the cable have one display port in, in one end and HDMI in the other end. And I use this cable to connect this specific laptop to my TV and everything works just fine. If I have uh, the lid closed, the display port will be the primary output and it shows up just fine on the TV. Uh, and on uh, <coughs> in the settings, the audio settings here, I can actually, the TV shows up as an audio device as well. So if I don't want the audio in the laptop speakers, I can actually select the uh, TV instead and the audio comes through the TV. But that doesn't work here and I'm going to actually show you. So here you can see the mouse is secondary. And I'm just going to open and drag this over here. So this is the display settings. And by the way, I can actually show you the computer itself. Um, it's an old laptop from HP. It's the workstation model called 8740. So let's see if I can actually maximize this window. It got right now uh, 12 gigs of memory, and that's because I actually put four, I swapped memories with the other laptop that I have. I usually have 16 gigs DDR3 memory. And the CPU is a Q720, 1.6 gigahertz, so it's not really that fast. And it's a quad core CPU, so four cores, eight threads. And it also has a Quadro card in it, graphics card. It's the FX2800M. And the disk should not show that much. That's the secondary. Yeah, it's totally, total. I have two hard drives in it. One 80 gigabyte SSD and one 500 gigabyte. I don't know if you can do it like this. Um, Ah, uh, yeah, here it shows up. So yeah, I have two hard drives. So the main one is the boot SSD, and then I got the secondary sort of storage drive. So this uh, laptop can have two uh, hard drives, one internal and one sort of, you can swap the DVD to a sort of a, uh, I don't know what it's called, it can, instead of a DVD, it holds in hard drives, so you can have two hard drives. And that's the to total storage. And yeah, Ubuntu, so you can see it's actually installed on real hardware. And I don't know, for example, this place, if we go to, uh, you can see that the resolution, the fault resolution on this one built in is 1920 by 1200 and it's a 17 inch monitor. 
And you can see I can't change that resolution for some reason. And the Elgato shows up as a monitor as well, 1920 by 1080. If I go to mirror here, you can see I can't change any resolution. And also the apply is also grayed out, so I can't mirror the built-in monitor to the link, the cam link, because the cam link doesn't support 1920 by 1200. It supports 1920 by 1080, and then it supports 4K, the 3840 by 2160. So I can't mirror this either. It's kind of annoying. Uh, what I can do is though, uh, I can join them and I can actually select the primary display here um, to Elgato. Apply, keep settings, and what happens then is that you get the top bar here. Also the uh, icons of the taskbar to the left. And I've got to the sound here. When I connect this uh, computer to the TV with the same cable, uh, I got two options here. I got the Panasonic TV, it says here. And then the order actually goes to the TV through the uh, sort of HDMI cable. But over here, it, uh, Linux doesn't recognize the cam link as an audio device. So the audio, I can't record any audio in OBS with this. And this is not it's just analog. So yeah, that's kind of weird, but so it has to do with cam link somehow. So the, the TV also recognizes this uh, computer as an audio device. Or the computer can uh, see the TV as an audio device as well. So yeah, there's a little bit of issues with this. Uh, and the same thing, if I the computer is powered off and I have the uh, H HDMI cable connected, and if I power it on and or, then quickly close the lid, the computer will automatically select the DisplayPort output as the only monitor. And that's how it works on the TV. So the, the image shows up as the default sort of monitor. But that's, that doesn't work with the cam link. Um, right when the computer starts up, you get the, you know, the HP logo. And then it starts to load the Linux, and then the screen goes black. And uh, eventually, the computer comes to the login screen. The computer, the image, the screen is still black, but I know how to log in. And when I try to log in, the computer goes to hibernate. It goes into sleep mode. So there's something with the cam link there doing some weird stuff with this. So, uh, and I, when I try to start the computer again, close the lid, nothing happens. Cam link says no signal. So yeah, so I can't really show you. I haven't really tried installing Linux Ubuntu with the uh, display port connected, but I'm skeptic. I don't think I will be able to kind of do that. So yeah, this is sort of the initials thing. So if I if I want to record the laptop, the Linux stuff, um, I sort of have to do it this way. And I don't think I can show you any installation videos, but yeah, so this is kind of the initial test of everything. Yeah. So that's how it is. So I can actually, you can see there if I actually just do it like this, maybe. So yeah, Linux machine over here, OBS recording it. So yeah, catch you later.